Hello everyone! In this video I will review current capabilities of our Neural Symbolic Minecraft agent. This agent possesses its own autonomous behavior, so it has started exploring the Minecraft world. It tries to find novel blocks and get novel items by mining them. In this demo it starts from scratch, so it can look like an unexperienced player. And it sees a lot of new stuff, so it can be a little bit confused. This experience can of course be incrementally accumulated and reused. It uses visual input, for example, it sees leaves, it sees logs, and so on. Uh, and it uses to navigate. Uh, in addition uh, to the visual input, in, uh, it uses some symbolic information, uh, which is also uh, accessible by a human player. So everything is fair. Uh, visual input will also be used for detecting visually novel places for exploration, uh, which we are working on now. But uh, currently it just uh, searches for novel blocks around and, and uh, when it uh, sees uh, no novel blocks, it starts uh, searching by reallocating. As you can see, the agent uh, has found uh, already a bunch of uh, blocks and items. So he is uh, uh, lucky to found uh, coal ore and it uh, continues uh, to discover uh, additional uh, kind of blocks. It uh, has gotten uh, stone. Uh, for acting efficiently in the world, uh, the agent needs uh, some symbolic skills, and uh, uh, this uh, behavior is uh, heavily supported by the skills. Uh, it uh, can continue searching uh, for a very long time, um, for hours, also in a not a purposeful way. However, symbolic reasoning is also very important, which uh, can better be seen if we ask the agent to do something concrete. Okay, so let's ask the agent to get some wooden door. Yeah, it uh, has crafted a wooden door from uh, oak planks. Uh, it was uh, not lucky to have uh, enough uh, planks for this, and it can be considered like uh, not uh, too cool. So let's uh, ask the agent to get, say, a wooden slab. Uh, and now it uh, doesn't have uh, enough planks, uh, so it decides that uh, it needs uh, to mine some uh, oak, and uh, it uh, got wood, uh, uh, oak logs uh, and created uh, uh, oak wooden uh, slab, so uh, everything is cool. Uh, let's uh, ask it to, say, get torch. It's uh, again not a problem because uh, the agent uh, uh, already uh, has the necessary components, but uh, if uh, it uh, didn't uh, have them, then uh, it would uh, try to find. Uh, similarly, we can uh, ask it to get uh, anything else. Uh, Okay, it's a lever, uh, but uh, let's uh, try asking it uh, to get uh, something more difficult, like uh, iron pickaxe. So, what it is going to do uh, in order to mine uh, iron ore, it needs stone pickaxe. So, it's a kind of uh, instrumental behavior. It uh, uh, tries uh, to acquire uh, ingredients for the necessary tool. So, it uh, understands that it needs this tool first, and after this, uh, it will uh, uh, go and uh, search uh, for iron ore. So it's uh, much more difficult to find uh, iron ore, I'm not sure. It uh, it, it will be successful in a limited amount of time. In any case, uh, it uh, should be understood that uh, the, if we want uh, the agent to achieve uh, uh, arbitrary goals, uh, we need it uh, uh, to 
possess uh, compositional behavior. So uh, it doesn't know what exactly uh, we, will, we will ask it uh, to do. The reason, uh, the agent uh, reasons uh, what uh, intermediate steps it has to perform depending on the current situation in order to achieve the goal. The situation can change while the agent is trying to achieve the goal. So it should be aware of the changing circumstances in order not to follow the possibly obsolete plan blindly. Or the agent may not know yet where to find certain blocks or ingredients, so it will need to search and explore. As you can see, the agent can achieve different goals from different starting points. It uh, doesn't simply follow an imperative script or demonstrates a reflex like uh, single way behavior typical for deep learning, uh, deep reinforcement learning systems. Such compositionality and robustness needs tight uh, sim symbolic sub symbolic integration. Okay, so I'd like to emphasize that uh, this is not the final version of the agent, but it's the very beginning. The interesting part is just starting. We need the agent to learn on its own, both on symbolic and sub symbolic levels to explore the world uh, deeper and wider, to construct, to farm, to interact with mobs, to collaborate with other agents. Such an integral activity is difficult to imagine without AGI technologies. That's why we consider it as a good testbed for our approach to AGI and its implementation in the Hyperon architecture, which is under development now. So we can... Uh, try waiting a little bit and uh, see if uh, the agent uh, will be successful or not. Oh, we are lucky. So it has found some iron ore exactly when we need it. So the agent uh, has successfully created an iron pickaxe. Thank you and I uh, hope uh, to provide you updates soon about more AGI stuff.